Um, so uh, a while back in July, I was working on a buck converter, and I think I posted a video about that or some problems I had with that. And I've gotten farther along in uh, what I've done with a uh, buck converter, so I still have you know a usual setup with a 555 PWM uh, set up right there, and that is um, clocking out and. PWMing this MOSFET right here, and there's the two inductors. Um, here's the uh, input capacitor, there's the uh, output capacitor, this little blue one right here. And uh, here's just um, my load is just the um, green LED right there. Um, and right now, I've been uh, getting it to work pretty well as far as responsiveness. Um, there's my power supply coming in from the wall wart, it's just a 12 volt. AC, so I rectify it, put it through a 8-volt um, uh, uh, regulator as well as a 5-volt regulator. Um, the 8-volt regulator goes to the input of the MOSFET, and the 5-volt goes to the um, feedback circuit as well as the 555 itself. Uh, the f Let me go ahead and just show you my calculations first. So here's all my calculations that I did. Sorry for the zoom new camera gotta get used to it um, I just did all these calculations based on a PDF I found which I will uh, put in the, in the uh, description so I basically start out with the four basics of um, for buck converter design is uh, you have your uh, V input voltage so I have a input voltage of 7 volts to 24 volts um, your output voltage is 5 volts your output voltage, output current max, I set it for a typical one amp. Um, my inductor is 40 uh, micro Henry's, but right here I have um, uh, two 20 um, micro Henry inductors in series to uh, make up a uh, equivalent 20, uh, I mean 40 uh, micro Henry inductor. Um, so then I just do the uh, traditional, sorry about that, traditional calculations with um, finding the switching frequency. So um, pretty much this is all laid out in the PDF I found, but it's, uh, you know, Vn max minus V out. So 24 volts minus 5 volts times 5 volts over 24 over 1 over uh, the inductor over, um, let me explain that. Uh, 0.3 amp. That is the ripple current right there. That's the ripple current times the uh, max current. Basically what this whole area right here is um, finding the saturation of the inductor. Because when you oversaturate an inductor, it's um, basically it can't store any more energy. So that's typically bad when it comes to buck converters to where like you overdo it and then the voltage starts to drop, blah, blah, blah. So I found a switching frequency of 329.861 kilohertz, which I painstakingly adjusted on my 555 with a, um, let's see, what did I have there? I had a uh, 220 picofarad capacitor, a, uh, I think that's a 10 kilo ohm. Uh, trim pot that I adjusted to about 3k and then I believe that's a um, that's a 2.2k resistor back there for R1 and I just have that set up in typical um, a stable multi vibrator mode you know doing the PWN and uh, blah, blah blah I go through the calculations find output capacitor yeah I did that so it's 47 so I got that um, find the uh, voltage yeah, let's see, where is it? Yeah, find the voltage ripple. I assumed about an ESR of my um, output capacitor of 0.5 micro or 0.5 um, ohms. Just because uh, these capacitors are not, you know, accurate. I pulled these off a bu bunch of random uh, PCBs, so I don't know the ESR. So I'm just going to assume the worst. Um, yeah, then I uh, select my in input capacitor, blah, blah. Uh, my diode selection, I originally had a typical diode that had a uh, um, typical voltage of 0.7, but I uh, 
did the worst of uh, 0.1 volts. But then I put in a Schottky diode, which helps a lot when it comes to efficiency. So the uh, power dissipation by the diode when it's a Schottky is 237 uh, milliwatts versus a regular diode, which is three times that. So I got a good deal as far as efficiency when I swapped over to a Schottky diode. Then I chose my MOSFET, blah, 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 blah with um, that. So there's the power dissipation, and I found out power dissipation um, based upon, you know, the uh, junction temperature, the uh, uh, maximum junction temperature. I mean, I don't, I'm not, you know, at the moment I'm not even using an amp. Hell, I'm using probably about 2 milliamps, so it doesn't really need a heat sink, but I was finding all that crap out. Um, final efficiency, blah, blah, blah. Um, roughly with a bunch of calculations going through, came out to about a efficiency of 80%. I am going to assume the worst that it's going to be about 70%, but still that's pretty good compared to a linear regulator which has an efficiency of, I think, 20%. It's just as bad as a Carnet um, engine and thermodynamics. So, yeah, basically this is my whole setup. Bubble, I told you about the 5.5 five, five and the MOSFET and the inductors. Back here, if I can show you, um, behind my test cables right here, I have two quad comparators, or I, I believe they're quad op amps, but I think they're comparators. Um, they're TLC274s. So they are quad op amps. But I have them set up in a varying degree of modes. Some of them are like voltage adders, voltage uh, subtractors. Um, a couple of them are buffers. Basically, they um, take the um, output voltage from the uh, blah, 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 the uh, buck converter and they measure it and compare it with a reference. So the reference is this five volt regulator over here. And let's say that, um, here's the five volt reference and my, this hand right here is representing the output voltage. Let's say the output voltage goes above the five volt reference. Well then, um, through all these um, op amps over here, it's going like, oh, well there's a difference. So I'll compensate by sending a uh, voltage pulse to the 555 through the control pin. Since the control pin is typically at a voltage of two-thirds VCC, which in this case, since it's five volts, it's going to be about 3.33 volts. Um, it's going to be different, so uh, it'll adjust the duty cycle. So let's say if I drop the voltage of the control pin down to, say, two volts, then the duty cycle um, drops with it, I believe. Um, basically, it adjusts this circuit right here indirectly adjusts the duty cycle to adjust the voltage on it. So it compensates for different voltage swings, all right? Um, and we can see that on my multimeter over there. So right now it's showing a voltage of 2.65, which is one of my bugs right now. But that's because of the uh, LED. So if I pull the LED out, the actual voltage or the um, no load voltage is 5.5 volts, which I don't want exactly. But let me show you an example. So, um, right now my meter is measuring the output voltage of the uh, buck converter, but let's, uh, let's move it over to the uh, 555's input pin. So it's roughly about 2.89 because of the uh, comparators, or the feedback circuit I'd like to call it. And that's going through a bunch of, yeah, like I said, I'll, I'll show you in a little bit. But right here, here's my sample like my test. I have a LM317 in adjustable voltage mode. So if I take, I mean, let me just uh, do this real quick. I'll uh, connect this LM317 to the uh, regulator and I'll show you how this operates. So let's connect this to the comparator input or the feedback input all right, All right now we're getting a, uh, let's see, okay, there we go. So right now we're getting a um, feedback voltage of 1.78, which means the uh, output voltage of the buck converter is 4.73.
Now let's measure that from the uh, LM317 as the uh, dummy input, which right now it's at 7 volts. So let's adjust the dial in the LM317. I'm going to put my finger on the thing here and adjust it. So as we can see, it adjusts, you know, changes voltage, blah, blah, blah. Um, and if we hook the meter over to the uh, LM or the 555's uh, control pin input, we can see a voltage of about, you know, point. Hold on. About um, there we go, 3.4 volts. So it's close to the 3.3 mark. Um, but not close enough. So if we just go back over to here, see, you can see it's uh, 4.68. So it's close to the 5 volt mark, but not enough. That's why the, um, L the 555's control voltage is like 0 0.07 millivolts above the 2 thirds VCC voltage is to compensate. So let's say we adjust it some more, the LLM. Uh, 317's voltage. Let's say we, uh, here, let me move the meter over to the LM317. Let's say we uh, over put the voltage over the 5 volt reference mark. Alright, so let's say an extreme case of 7.3 volts. That's, that's kind of extreme. So if we go back over to the 555's control pin, we can see that the, uh, hold on, the control voltage is 2.3 zero five volts so it compensates a lot um, for the um, uh, output voltage it compensates and changes the duty cycle you see what I mean but my problem is, is that it's a problem of precision versus like responsiveness okay so if I wanted to get like extreme preci precision which is what I have right now I have that already but it doesn't compensate as you saw earlier with the LED it like changes pretty vastly because the LED is you know dropping the voltage down by roughly two volts so it's a matter of precision but I'll, if anybody can help me on that that'd be awesome so I'm gonna go over to my screen right here um, this is my schematic of the uh, general general thing we can see all the op amps right here they're in uh, like uh, voltage addition, voltage subtraction mode, buffer mode for a up here is a um, mimicking, you know, the the uh, voltage ladder within the 555. So we get a uh, nice two thirds voltage ladder right here, and that's buffered through this op amp. There's the five volt reference. Um, there's the uh, voltage input that's going to the MOSFET here. And there's the inductor, diode, output capacitor, there's the load, there's the 555, um, roughly a starting frequency of you know what I described earlier with a duty cycle of roughly 50%. And um, yeah, that's basically it. But over here on the simulation, you'll see what I mean. So we have the uh, voltage ladder up here on the top, and here's the uh, input voltage, and there's the reference voltage. So let's say... Um, I adjust the reference voltage, you know, like I showed you earlier, up a few volts. What it's supposed to do is like down there you can see it gone shot up to about 0.639 volts. And then through a bunch of addition and subtraction, voltage, blah blah blah, uh, we get a um, control voltage of three volts. Now if we change it back, you know, to five volts roughly, we're getting about a you know, 3.3 .3 voltage uh, difference. So overall, um, like I said, precision versus responsiveness is uh, my problem here. But if anybody could help me with that, that'd be excellent. Um, I hope y'all had enjoyed this, and please respond back. Comment below. I'll include everything in the description. And have a good day. Thanks.